Welcome to day five. It is our last day oh. in the springtime week of webisodes, but we're, we're ending it in a flourish. In fact, we're full of butterflies today. Where do you see them? With two new artful card kits, romantic butterflies mm -hmm. and watercolor butterflies. And as you know, artful card kits are just the best way to make spectacular cards quickly, easily, and economically. So, so come, come play, play with us. us. Well, here they are. And they are butterfly themed, both of them, but two different looks, romantic butterflies and watercolor butterflies. And they both have ribbons, but we're gonna focus first on the romantic. So let's, let's take a look there. This has 70 pieces. There are 62 die cuts and eight papers. Let's look into the papers to begin with. And what I so appreciate is that these papers, of course, are coordinated with the dies, but they are really gorgeous on their own. Oh, absolutely. And what it means is that you can use fewer dies as you're creating your cards. Absolutely. So, you know, they'll just go further. <laughs> so as you can see, this has text, this has butterflies, it has lace, it's got some scrolls going it's on. It's got everything. It's got lots of stuff going on. <laughs> These are eight and a half by 11, they're single-sided, and there are um, uh, 80, eight yeah. oh, 80, 80 pound. Yeah. Oh, 80 pound, okay. So there we've got all over fluttering of butterflies in a tone on tone. And then we have this, which is fun as we get in, you're gonna see those butterflies in the center. With that scroll work, just beautiful. Yeah, just gorgeous. Now we're gonna back up because that keeps John entertained. So this is and a romantic look. It's almost kind of a Victorian feel, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So it's interesting because it's got all of this kind of texture look going mm -hmm. on. That text again, we've got the butterflies, we've got words, we've got lace. That's gonna be great on the corner of a card. Yes, beautiful. Then we have an all over design that's going to work beautifully. Again, it's got words. Words, it's got butterflies, it's got texture. And of course you can use just little strips of this yeah. and make a big impact. And then we have that same color in an all over pattern that's gonna be very useful. And then we have this at the bottom with a micro dot on top, so that's pretty. I love that you have borders right there on the paper. Yeah, and then we have another of the butterflies with that little one in the center. All of those, then we're going to go into the die cuts and the die cuts allow us to make these cards so quickly. So we're going to have, as I said, 62. As you can see, there are borders, there are focals, you get greetings, you get everything. And the frames everything. will pop out separately ah, from the, the inner, right. from the outer, we'll show you that. You're right, so all over you can see that we've got this romantic look on all of those Butterflies sheets. Butterflies everywhere. <laughs> And on the back of the package, as always, with Hot Off the Press, you're going to get inspiration. So we give you ideas, tell you a little bit about them, and help you to create some wonderfulness. Plus and, ribbons oh, that plus match ribbons. perfectly. <laughs> you can get six ribbons in this set, and there are 36 inches of each. You're getting a dot, you're getting sheer, you're getting crepes, a couple of different kinds, grow grains. I love the glimmer, and all of this is going to match those papers perfectly. Yes, it is. Now let's get to the projects. Okay. Here is the first card, and it's a great example of how the papers support the die cuts. Absolutely, and so simple. You're uh -huh. just gonna cover your card with that border paper and then start adding die cuts. And as a matter of fact, there's one, two, three, four die cuts. Well, out of 62, that's right. gonna go a long way. Not, not, not bad at all, and there's something special about the butterfly on there, there as well. There really is. Many of the butterflies have wings that you can lift up. Just like that. Just like that. So they stay simple. connected. You they don't have do. to do anything other than don't glue those down. And I'd like to show you how simple it is just to pop these out. So here's your, your sheet of die cuts. We're just gonna pop these out just like this. There is an additional feature on this frame and some of the borders too, where you can pop out the little pieces here. You can leave them in place oh. or pop them out and see through. And you can also pop this piece out independently. So I love the layers of being able to pop these out. But you can also, like we talked about, just pop up the wings and just sort of bend them up just like so, and that butterfly is gonna stay there. Then you can foam tape them independently if you like. Right, and that's why this one has, well, it's just the card behind it with, you can see the text. 
I also love in this the way that scroll is kind of hugging that frame. <laughs> sort of wrap it around I the edges. I do like that. Nice. And we have added, well the ribbon is part of the kit, but we have also added the silver jewel dazzles. And I have to, this, I really need to give you a dazzle alert because dazzles will be added all over, nice. just so you know. It's just easy <laughs> and it's nice and sparkly. <laughs> Very pretty, isn't it? Yeah, right in the center along the frame all over. Okay, ready for another one? Right. Here we go. This is another mm. example of how that paper supports the die cuts. It does. Matches it just absolutely perfectly and you've got that artwork so there's half your job done. <laughs> right. Now just add some die cuts. Oh and up in the corner just tear a piece, mm -hmm. a strip of paper, just a little corner of paper and you've got a different look there. Now we did ink the edges here so you're just going to take your ink pad and just rub it right along the edge of the card. So and simple just, to do. Right. And the die cuts that you see there, there's that frame and that centerpiece, remember it just pops out individually like that. Now there's two ways of doing that. You can foam tape that up above like this or you can foam tape it behind or, or you can uh, glue that in place then foam tape this on top and so you get two different looks right. there. And that's what was done here. Um, I kind of normally think about having the center area foam taped but I like right. the frame being foam taped. And I do love that because they're frames you can tie ribbon around ah. them just right around the edge of the frame and that's a fun look. And then these are platinum dazzles that have been added. Right. Just a little bit of shine. And again one, two, three of the die cuts have been used so just a beautiful, beautiful card. They're we all have beautiful. more. Every we have more. Beautiful. <laughs> this is a cutaway card. So even though the Artful Card Kit makes it easy because you've got everything there and it matches, right. you can still be creative in the kinds of cards you make. Sure. And this is one example where the front of the card has been cut away and here we have the uh, opening right there. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't then that just nice? start layering. First put on your papers, make that cut, and start layering the die cuts. Here's the card with papers in place and you can add more paper like a strip of paper here is nice which was done on that front of that card and then go ahead and cut away just like so. Add a strip in here. You notice you only have to add it as wide as it's going to be covered from right. the front. Take one of those die cut borders and just glue it onto the edge just like that. I would trim it with the bottom of your card and that's the look you're getting. And that's another one that you can pop out those inner areas and get a very lacy look to that border. I like the idea of putting a border in the center of your card. That's right. different. Mm -hmm. And as we talked about, you don't have to use many papers to create each of your cards. That's and this right. is a perfect example. They go a long way. Now we've done more die cuts here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we've only used part of this so there's still more remaining. Right. Adding some ribbon at the top of that tag. It's already punched there so it's ready to do that. Isn't that pretty? That's one of Teresa's techniques too of just looping that through and then tying it with a narrower ribbon mm -hmm. and you have those in your kit. So that works beautifully. Now we did add, again, you got an alert, the uh, mm -hmm. black jewel border dazzles. You can see how they go along the top, the bottom, and in the center of the card. Just okay, beautiful. I this just works love that really, look. really well. Now, here's another technique is a window. And look what we've done. We've cut a great big uh, square in our paper right, covered in card. Is, mm -hmm. And that's simple to do, right? Cover it with paper, cut that square, you know the, where that's going to be. And I love that you can see this from the front of the card and from the inside when you open it up. And again, you can lift up your butterfly. So, you can do both layers if you like. We've added the dazzles mm -hmm. and even this little guy has got wings that can flutter up Beautiful. and it works really nicely. So they'll work flat in an envelope and then they're just gonna, you can pop them right up and there you go. Now notice this part has our happy birthday greeting, whatever greeting mm -hmm. we want, but when we open it we've got something else so let's celebrate is what we're saying. So you've got more than one uh, sentiment, more than yeah. one greeting on there so that's going to be great. Very fun. Now how about little cards? Maybe you just need a note card or right. something to tuck so in. So just take your card, cut it down to about three and a half inch square and add your papers, add some die cuts. Very nice. You can put some of the narrow ribbon or if you want to get some of the twine right. uh, along the fold and you've got a really sweet 
very effective little piece. Now we've got one more for this collection. Because we want to show you the ones for the other one too. Right, we so. do. <laughs> now this, again, I said you can make unique cards. Well, this is an easel card, but it's a window easel card. So as I open Isn't this, that great? look at what I've got. That's so fun. Very I love fun. doing that with these cards. And that's going to start with a five inch card. I added the paper square to the front. And then you can just fold this in half or score it and then fold it. So now you've got that nice <coughs> easel shape. But we want the window too. And that's where the die cut comes in. Pop out that center. And this will be used on the inside of your card. Place this on the front just like that and trace it. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this. Another way to do this is to just trace it on half of it. But here we've got the whole thing. To cut that out, I would fold that just like that. Cut along that shape right Makes there. Makes it so easy. And then you've got <laughs> the window on your card. Right. And you can just place that you, uh, along the bottom, as you said. Add a butterfly on top. And you always want to make sure when you're doing this kind of card that you foam tape up the inside so that it will hold that easel right. card. Very, very fun. So those are the romantic it butterflies. It is. Now, our, our we're going to go to the wi uh, watercolor. The watercolor give butterflies. You the ribbons. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Same idea. This time we have 77 pieces in our okay. watercolor butterflies. <laughs> and uh, here Starting are our papers. papers. Yeah. Again, the watercolor look is true in the art as well as the background. Look at the swirls up there, Beautiful. just really pretty. And we have an all over butterflies. So and there's no lack of beautiful papers. Right. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that just lovely? And so, definitely so that pretty. watercolor look, you can sort of see through mm -hmm. some of this. And even on the background there, of that almost looks like uh, dotted Swiss fabric. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the butterflies down at the bottom I there. Love that. Again, so, on mm -hmm. a dot with text, uh, with text and look at that waterfall so color borders background. that can be used on your papers you know both of these kits can be used with scrapbooking too yes you can and you've got text you've got again the watercolor floating in the background and we have an all over print now the die cuts again same idea that you're going to get borders you're going to get uh, greetings you're going to get frames and they will often nest one inside the other so that's one sheet here is another. You can see that this color palette is lighter, right. uh, more kind of a springy looking. But it still, it has those butterflies, so the yeah. wings will pop up. Yes. We'll show you that. And we have ribbons. We have ribbons, six ribbons, 12 inches of each. Again, you're getting dotted, grow grains, you get a glimmer, sheer, and a couple of different sizes. I love this nice little sort of a gingham look. So lots of things to add to those papers. And how about some projects? Well, there's one of the papers. Again, we're starting off just like we did with the romantic ones. Right. In that it's just really easy with just a couple of yeah. die cuts and these papers. You're letting the papers do the work for you. Yes. That's what that piece is for. And just add some of the die cuts. I love this one coming out the end here. A little bit of ribbon drawing your eye out to those die cuts. The same dazzle alert applies here. We've got <laughs> purple jewel dazzles just scattered around and that works very nicely. Here is another very simple card because of the papers. And right. you can see how fun that little swirl is, kind of as a trail behind and the butterfly. And here's an opportunity for ah. lifting those wings on right. the butterfly. Both sides. I can't get the other side. The left <laughs> there you hand. go. There we go. <laughs> Very pretty. Few jewel dazzles right in the center. And always lots of little dazzles yes. around to add some interest. And of course, the sentiments. And these are the pink jewel dazzles that were added to that particular one. Now, here is a square card. And it too is going to go become a easel an easel card. Easel card, so, so simple. There Just you go. Putting your papers Oops. on there, adding those die cuts, and it's pretty quick. That's it, a pretty quick yeah, card. It's it is beautiful. Celebrate the special moments. Congrats is what it says on the inside. Very fun and playful imagery. And this has the purple jewel border dazzle, so that's going to work. Now you can also do gatefold cards, of course. I'm sure you knew that. This one, notice, has been inked along all the edges, so right. it really defines that opening in the middle. 
As you know, we only put things and attach them on the left-hand side. So we've got one, two, three, four of the die cuts. Open this up, and there we've got a greeting on the inside. Beautiful. So that starts, remember, a gatefold card. With a basic card like this, you're going to open it up, or maybe you get it flat, and then close it just like so to that gatefold in the center. Very simple. Yeah, it works really well. Now, how about this? And this is interesting because with this border, I guess I would initially think, oh, I'm going to do a little die cut, but no. <laughs> This giant one was put, it's like and a I big like it. Butterfly garden yeah. on there, butterflies everywhere, and again lifting those wings. This is just my favorite part. Plus, you can see through to the mm -hmm. paper underneath. You don't have to do much, and I like the swirls. I like them coming and kind of wrapping around and hugging right. that big die cut, doing one of the greetings on top or not using it. Right, and then adding some of the jewel dazzles. These, in this case, the silver along the edges, and it's just a beautiful finishing look. Isn't that pretty? Just really, really and nice. Then, On the inside, oh, this is <laughs> another of the paper, a couple of papers actually, and again, overlapping the green right. if you want to do now, that. Now as we look at the front of this card and we grab the next project, I want to ah. show you how similar they look. And <laughs> you know, they have a very similar look using some of the same things, but this is using a composition book. Right, so you can do the same thing. And these things are, you know, like $2, and uh, you can cover them with the papers and do kind of similar to what you did right. on the card. Now you can glue those papers on, or you can use a double-sided adhesive. I find that that really helps it to stick mm -hmm. on there well, especially on the binding. This goes all the way around to the back. So there's enough paper in here, so do something on the back, do, do wow. something a little creative. Add your ribbon, I actually wrapped it around before I put that binding piece on, and then tie your ribbons on the right. Very nice, and what a beautiful gift. Just gorgeous. Embrace the magic of the day. There's lots of great yes, sayings in, in there these are. kits as well. Now this is, as we said, now let's see, this is the watercolor. Right. And, and the romantic the you romantic. have, and here's the label for it. Okay. Um, so this, I do want to tell you that the ribbons, if you're looking at the printed paper wishes or the virtual paper wishes, the ribbons were not shown. Uh, we actually made a mistake and realized we didn't have them. So okay. we quickly um, got them together they and they're available. they're available now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there is one other thing I want to tell you okay. and these two artful card kits are also part of a butterfly garden kit. Now this is on the back of the catalog and it has everything that you've just seen, not the ribbons, but all the papers, all the die cuts. Right. In addition, this kit has three more sheets of die three cuts. Three more sheets of die cuts with some really bright, beautiful right. colors. I love these die cuts. They kind of span both the romantic and the watercolor. Right. And this also has 24 cards and envelopes. So, so this is kind of a nice another big, option. thick kit too yeah. with all of those uh, <laughs> cards and envelopes. So that'll really get you started. So you have several options. You choose do. whatever you like or choose them all. This ends our springtime week, week of, of web episodes. It started out real fun with a guest, and it did. now here we are at the end with our <laughs> card kits. <laughs> and thank you for joining us. You make it the very best part of Paper Wishes. And we'll see you next week for our regular scheduled time. Okay.